It's lonely out there in space, and sometimes it's not enough to just have one companion following you around on your adventure, even if that person is a loving, devoted, if slightly eccentric, adoring fan. By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera, I can't believe it. You might feel like you need a place to belong, and in the universe of Starfield, the best way to find that is by joining a faction. And so, we're here to tell you all about the factions you can join in Starfield, why you might want to consider joining them, and how you can do so. We're going to start this one off on technicality, because Constellation is not a faction in the same sense as the others, but it is still nevertheless a group of people who share an ideology that you eventually get to join. Just you do this one by way of the main quest, and thus, you probably don't need our help to tell you how to join up with them. Nevertheless, you'll join Constellation after completing the main quest one small step, and it's something that you should do as early as you can as it gives you full access to the lodge, including all the crafting tables in the basement, the unlimited storage boxes, and a handful of companions to join you. UC Vanguard are the defenders of the United Colonies, one of the two governing bodies in Starfield's universe. And so, if you're looking to help make the civilized worlds a safer place, this is one of the factions you'll want to join. Fortunately, it's also one of the easiest. After arriving on New Atlantis, then meeting with Sarah and the rest of Constellation at the Lodge through the main quest line, Sarah will join you and introduce you to Commander John Tuala. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Through him, you'll be able to enlist with the Vanguard. After completing an orientation, that involves a neat museum walkthrough and a flight simulator minigame. Side note, definitely walk through the whole museum and listen to each exhibit to get a really great condensed version of the history of the universe, who the major players are, and really ground yourself in the lore of this game. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. Ever want to be a space pirate? Be a dirty smuggling scoundrel that hoards contrabands and human organs and then sells them to the highest bidder? Well then, do I have the faction for you. The Crimson Fleet is the quintessential quote-unquote bad faction in Starfield. There are two ways to get on the mission that will ultimately set you on the path towards your pirate life. First, go through the UC Vanguard questline until you're given the opportunity to take on the mission Deep Cover, which will have you infiltrating the ranks of the Crimson Fleet as a spy for the UC system defense. The other is to get thrown in prison, try to smuggle contraband into a settled colony, get caught stealing a random doodad off of a politician's desk. What do you think you'll put that back? Maybe accidentally fire off your weapon when you meant to put it away. Hold it right there. You're under arrest. Whatever your method is, make sure to be taken in alive, and you'll be transported to the Mars moon of Phobos, where you'll be brought into the deep cover mission under very different circumstances. And if you truly want to be an agent of chaos, you can stick it to the man and outright refuse the offer to go undercover. You'll make an eternal enemy out of the UC system defense, but news of your badass defiance will reach the ears of the Crimson Fleet, and you'll get skied directly. Hey, I want to talk to you for a second. Whatever way you choose ultimately leads to the same destination. There are some unique advantages to going down the Crimson Fleet questline. For one, once you become friends with them, you don't have to worry about them shooting you down in outer space. For two, you'll be able to sell contraband to them, which is one of the best ways to make money in Starfield. Just make sure you outfit your ship with a special shielded cargo that you can buy from Parima 3 in the Parima Star System by talking to Lon Anderson at the Red Mile. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. The Free Star Rangers are basically a group of elite heroes in the Free Star Collective, the other governing body in Starfield's universe. Just like the Crimson Fleet allows you to live the fantasy of being a space pirate, the Free Star Rangers fulfill that fantasy of being a space cowboy. To start on the path of joining the Free Star Rangers, you'll first need to head to the Cheyenne system, which is pretty far out there to the east, so you may need to make a stop at Olympus in order to make the jump. Once you're there, head to Aquila and land at Aquila City. When you first enter, chat with Marshal Daniel Blake, who is caught up in the middle of a good old-fashioned bank robbery. How you go about solving this situation is up to you, but afterwards, the Marshal will send you to talk with Emma Wilcox to test and see if you are Ranger material. Complete the bounty she gives you, and congratulations, you're now a fully-fledged member of the Free Star Rangers, with your very own revolver and everything. Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. 
Ryujin Industries offers up a different kind of space fantasy. The fantasy of working your way up through the corporate ladder of a giant tech corporation, running errands, delivering coffee, the whole works. That's not entirely a joke, but it is much more interesting than it may appear at first. You'll first catch wind of Ryujin Industries simply by walking around New Atlantis. You'll hear whispers of a job opportunity at Ryujin, and if you follow that thread, it will take you to a Ryujin kiosk where you can fill out a job application. From there, it's off to the giant city Neon in the Voli system. Head to Ryujin Industries HQ to do your job interview, and provided you don't mess it up, you'll become a newly recruited member of Ryujin Industries. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. The quest line for Ryujin is much more espionage focused, so expect to give your stealth skills more of a workout than combat as you sneak around rival corporations, sabotaging them, planting incriminating evidence, and the like. And that's how to join every joinable faction in Starfield, along with a bit of extra info about each of them. Note that you're free to join any or all of these all at once. No need to choose one over the other unless, of course, you do something to permanently make one of them hostile towards you. Thanks for watching and for more Starfield guides, make sure to check out our videos on shipbuilding, how to deal with storage limitations, and much more. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.